Listen to what this husband told his sick wife. Do I have to go with you to your first chemotherapy? I don't want to use a sick day. These are more things husbands have said to their wives. I had just had a baby two weeks ago when my husband said, if you stop crying, I'll be done quicker. My husband is an ex-Marine when he said, I have 68 confirmed. You didn't know at the time, but you were dropping me off at her place. I went to war. Do you know what these hands can do? I don't regret having kids. I just regret that you are their mother. When I found out that I have three different types of cancer, my husband said, since you're going to die, I guess I'll go find someone else. After finding out I had cancer, I was headed to my first appointment when my husband said, as a teacher, I just can't take the day off. My husband had cancer and I had lupus, which made me handicapped. When he said, I figured you would die first. Now look at what I have to deal with. When the doctor told us there is nothing they can do for me, my partner of eight years said, I guess I'm stuck paying the mortgage now. These are awful quotes from husbands to their wives. At least I did it in your hair so no one can see the bruises. I was playing Xbox with some of my male friends when my husband walked in and said if they only knew what you looked like, they wouldn't talk to you. I've put too much time and money into this marriage. I own you now. And if you leave, it'll be in a bag. After 14 years of marriage, my husband admitted I only married you for the medical insurance. After taking a picture, my husband said, you ruin every single picture because you're in every single picture. The only thing you have to offer anyone in this world is the fact that you're pretty. You're a woman who has cancer and a man has said this to you. You're going to die anyways, so let's just end it now. He filed for divorce a few days later. We just found out I only have two years left. And my husband said, Oh great, now it's really all about you. I needed reconstructive surgery. He told me, we'll save for that next year. And he used our savings to buy his new car. Every time I do one of these, there's always men that come into my comments complaining about something. That it's not about them. That I don't do video videos about women saying things to men. And so for this last comment, for this last quote, I'm going to put a picture of my wife up. And to any man who wants to question anything, why I do this, I want you to look at my wife while I read this quote. You're not as beautiful as you used to be. If you look at my wife, you have anything but empathy. You're the reason I do these videos. These are things men have said about women's weight. My ex once took a photo of me while I was getting dressed. He sent me that picture highlighting the areas that I needed to work on. My ex-boyfriend said if I just lost my neck rolls, 
he would marry me. My father keeps poking and grabbing at my rolls, and he tells me, you would be prettier if you got a boyfriend and lost weight. I'm only 16 years old. My ex-husband used to tell me, even if you lost the weight, you still wouldn't be pretty because of all that loose skin. After losing over 100 pounds, my now ex-husband told me I should just hang on to my bigger clothes because I'll need them again. You might as well apply for disability because all you are is a burden to me. That's what a husband said to his wife. And then he left his family on Christmas Day. I never got the wife I wanted and never wanted the wife I have. I have the papers proving you belong to me. If I loved you, I wouldn't hurt you like this. You cut your hair? That was the only beautiful thing about you. You know the hogs in Kentucky are wild. They will eat everything, including your teeth. These are awful things that narcissist husbands have said to their wives. You're lucky that I'm an alcoholic because if I was sober, I would have never married you. I was three weeks postpartum and I had a C-section when my ex-husband told me, keep going and I'm gonna open that cut up. You were made only for my pleasure and that is your only value. When I finally decided to leave my ex-husband, he said, what about me? My parents were expecting to have grandchildren soon. I'm a stay-at-home mom when my husband told me any job you can do in your pajamas isn't that difficult. Your job is being the housemaker, which includes cooking my food. I'm a preacher. No one will ever believe you over me. Let me tell you what I promise. That is not a man of God. Your lips are turning blue. I guess that means you can't breathe anymore. He said this while he had a smile on his face. I haven't loved you since our first anniversary. Therefore, it's not really cheating. You should have been more strict with me and put your foot down instead of allowing me to do this. Why should I find a job if I have you paying for everything? I'm being real here. Stop paying for everything. I had just lost over 100 pounds and I went shopping for new clothes to celebrate when my boyfriend said, don't get too excited you still have a lot of work to do. My eye doctor once told me, you'd be pretty if you weren't so heavy. If you tried hard enough, you can be 120 pounds. My boyfriend said, you're not going to meet my parents. You're too embarrassing to show them. If I ever see you eat, I'm going to make you throw it up again. After I had lost a bunch of weight, my brother told me, looks like bullying you all of those years finally paid off. Want to know why we have so many terrible husbands and boyfriends out there? This is a quote from a father to his son. I should have pushed your mother down the stairs when she was pregnant with you. That would have taken care of two problems at once. Men, listen to me very, very close. If you've been through abuse like that, swallow your pride and get some help.